12 Rules for Life, an anecdote to chaos, Dr. Jordan Peterson. Doctor, good morning to you. Good Thanks morning. for joining a couch call today. You bet. What do you make of this uh, Drexel professor who's been in and out of the news so often, and now he's uh, blaming that for the cause of the shooting in Texas? I think he's applying his ideological formula to a very complex problem. And it's an easy thing to do. It's this sort of postmodern formula that's taught to university students everywhere now. What is the formula? Attribute everything to racial disparity and oppression victimization. Just everything? Well, essentially, it's a recasting of Marxism, I would say. And it, with the Marxist theory, it was rich against poor, bourgeoisie against proletariat. And that was recast in the 1970s as oppression due to group identity, essentially. Mm -hmm. And so that's where identity politics came from. It's a formula you can learn in about a day and then you can use it to explain everything. Mm -hmm. College is designed to teach you to think about the world and prepare you for the world outside of college. How is this helping that? And what kind of students are we getting when they're 22, 23, whenever they graduate? You have the tense wrong. College was that. Understood. So, and, and I don't think it is that in many cases now, especially, especially in the liberal arts. And that's a real catastrophe. It's much different than my experience 15, 20 years ago. Yeah, well, things have changed dramatically in the last five years, I would say. And we saw this rise of political correctness in the 1990s. It burst forward in between 1990 and about 1993. And then it seemed to subside a little bit, but it's back with an absolute vengeance now. And we know that most of the university campuses, uh, in the liberal arts anyways, are heavily dominated by leftist thinking, and radical leftist thinking for that matter. Well, what happened, um, Doctor, in the early 90s to uh, spawn this? Well, I, I think it's popped up more or less repeatedly since the late 1960s. Um, I'm not sure exactly why Started it with the anti-war movement? Yeah, and yeah, with the anti-war movement, that, but there was a there was a fair bit of radical thinking in the 1960s on the on the left side, and many of those people ended up teaching in universities, and so and with the uh, with the rise of postmodernism, that that's a huge factor. That was a French intellectual school, that was a, a transformation of Marxism into identity politics essentially, mm -hmm. and because it's. I think, in some sense, because it requires almost no intellectual effort and leaves you with an overwhelming sense of moral superiority, it's very attractive to people. Mm -hmm. They're basically teaching young people, I would say, to be ideological avatars, to go act out this, this pernicious doctrine in the, in the well, real world. Well, some of them were doing that. They were howling at the moon. They were screaming in the night. They were upset. The year anniversary, a few days ago, yeah. of President is. Trump being elected. What do you make of that? Well, I think a lot of that is a kind of narcissism. You know, I mean, that sort of public display. Um, it's probably amplified to a great degree by social media and, and media in general, right? Because this sort of highly emotional display does make a reasonable news clip. Uh, but... What's the danger here? Well, the danger is everywhere at the moment. The danger is increased polarization. We're seeing that nonstop at the moment. And it's... I think it's... I think it's mostly because the people on the radical left are pushing way too hard. That's right. my estimate. So you see that in Canada as well as the United States and all around the Western world. I want to ask you this because I live in a very democratic state, Connecticut, right? Yep. None of my friends would ever operate like this. Now, granted, my friends are older. They find this reprehensible. So, so I mean, it seems like a lot of Democrats are fired up about this idiocy. Oh, yeah. Well, lots of people who were in what you might describe as the liberal center are very unhappy that the political landscape on the left side has shifted way over to the radical, radical leftist side. That's a very common sentiment now. And I think it's happening faster than people really understand. So we have, you, it's almost impossible to overstate how influential these postmodern doctrines have become and how they're seeping in now into corporations, mostly through HR departments. Right. I read an article and it was about Barbara Corcoran and she was talking about people she hires and doesn't hire. And when she's investing in companies like we see on Shark Tank, she says, if you're a victim, she hates the word victim and people who have that victimized mentality where they yeah. are the victim, woe is me. Do you see that more and more? Is that like a millennial thing yeah. or is it? Well, it's a, form of, it's a form of justification for the use of power. You know, if you're a victim and you can ascribe moral superiority to yourself, then you're justified in the use of force. And I did a paper with a student of mine who had been, who toured the mass graves in Eastern Europe in Yugoslavia with the UN. And we looked at the precursors to genocide, and one of them was an enhanced sense of victimization. That allows you to lash out at the hypothetical perpetrators before they 
before they do anything because you're being victimized. You saw the same thing to some degree in Nazi Germany. Yeah, Hitler. Because, yeah, well, Hitler the Jews, felt very victimized. Yeah, Hitler claimed that the Jews were victimizing Germany, essentially. And so once you're a victim and you have all the moral status that goes along with being a victim, then you, can, you can't do any wrong, essentially. Right. So. Interesting discussion. Uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson's new book is called 12 Rules for Life, an Anecdote to Chaos, which we certainly need now. Doctor, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Doctor. Thank hey, thanks very much for the